Did you see the video of the guy <laughs> dropping the weight on the guy's head at the gym? No. It's brilliant. The crazy mental ill freaks that I have to do battle with every day is insane. Get that ugly, disabled freak away from me. And these people are scum, like Cyber Sponge here would absolutely sue me in this channel. They ended up putting Ben in a headlock. I've been robbed, cheated, and swindled. There's nothing you can do. I think it's time to be an artillery to this battle. I don't like you! <laughs> <laughs> Homeless against the autism. If you act mentally impaired, you probably get off. And so I think any any judge in this country would agree with me. I, I, I told you I took a me, I took the Mensa test. Yeah. Tell, <laughs> tell, tell Chad about the Mensa test. First, I'm joining one. Mensa just so I can have it on my Wikipedia and tell people and tell brag to people. <laughs> yeah, look at my Wikipedia. I'm in Mensa. We getting hey. money? Chris, what's the money at? Sixteen hundred. Ugh. Is Hasbulla confirmed? Who confirmed for World Peace Two yet? The he's yeah he's confirmed for me stomping his head out. You don't like him? No. Um, it's the fact that every person who thinks that it's funny is like the same guy that has like a terrible sense of humor. Is that valid? Is that can you say someone should kill him? No. You can't say that. No. All right. Well, I didn't mean that. That was a joke. Yeah. Comedy. Um, if he died, I'd be the saddest guy on the planet. Is that safe to say? I don't care about Arabs. I don't care about yuck people. And I know it's it's so it's so fascinating. It's like a medieval carnival. You look at those those little gnomes got no teeth. That's the funniest thing on the planet to Brendan Shaw, Burt Kreischer type people. Like the guy that has like level one humor. Like he's barely barely cognizant of anything other than sports. But he's hurt. He's, he's smart enough to put together a, like a. What did the hooker say when I gave her AIDS? N not this, like whatever stupid joke. And Hasbullah like, is like the uh, mascot for that type of that type of humor. Look, the little birdie he got his beak torn off. Dang, that's just so funny. I don't want to look at it. When people have this, um, Laker, what happens what, if you make an angry face? What does it look like? Do your best angry face. Go like this. Nah, it doesn't. This doesn't. That's not the same thing. He doesn't got the alligator. I was watching Miami Vice recently. It's a flawed movie, but it is a great, great movie. The kid in the trailer park scene, he's got the he's got the face. It's fetal alcohol syndrome too. If you have fetal alcohol syndrome, you should probably get your mom with the Hugo Boss belt buckle. Man, oh man, it's like the opposite of this. The cr crime face is the opposite of this. Oh baby. Poor guys, man. I'm so sorry, but yeah, uh, your mom, your mom needs to go. And these guys, like, look at this guy. <laughs> like, they kind of are. They kind of are. Like, they're just like weirdly like violent and like braggadocious. Like, it's like the worst aspects of like many different things rolled into one. I don't have a problem with anybody, but come on. I don't actually have a huge problem with Brazilians. Yeah, yeah, I can. I probably like Brazil. I probably am fine with Brazilians. I don't mind them. The Portuguese language is disgusting. <laughs> it's the ugliest. Brazil. So foul. Oh, Four I found now. hell. I Brazil. found my version of hell. <laughs> if you're gonna really hurt somebody, yeah, and you know, th you know, you're throwing your life down the tubes, yeah, but you have to hurt them good. Yeah, because it's your final play. Yeah, it's your last card like, in the deck. Sorry, guy. This is my final act. <laughs> As a free man. This is the end of my story. I'm gonna enjoy it. This is the end of my story, but it's the beginning of yours. <laughs> but it's best to look like a petulant child. Like this. <laughs> and then hit him like, I don't like you! <laughs> if you act mentally impaired, you probably get off. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, this child didn't have, he didn't have a step up. He didn't have anybody in his corner. He's, in, he's impaired. Let him go. Could the girl from iDub's documentary be a part of more stuff? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a text from her. Yeah. It was basically like, my boyfriend's a neo-Nazi and he has in a gang and he will shoot you. 
because I asked her to be in like a follow up thing. Yeah. She was like, tried. she was like, my boyfriend really didn't like that. He's a neo Nazi. He's in a real gang. He will shoot you. It was just like a crazy like. Like I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? I was looking at this test. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. <clears throat> so no, the, um, unfortunately, the homeless situation is unreal. The the crazy, the mental ill freaks that I have to do battle with every day is insane. What kind so, of battle do you have to do? They fought. They fought us recently. They came. They came. They came up to us. We we're, we've been doing this thing where bums have been coming since since living in the city. I I used to give homeless people money. I used to if they were asked me for food. I would give them food. I used to be kind of generous with homeless people because yeah. I, I, I got it. I understood. I was yeah, like, dude, I can't work a normal job either. Living uh, in the city has made me so desensitized because, oh my God, it's just incessant. It's nonstop. We, we've we been doing this bit now. A bum will come up to us and hit me with the same dialogue line he's hit me with 20 times because they live right outside. Hey man, you got a dog for a cigarette? You got... What we've been doing is... We'll go. No, no, no English. No English. Is that the man? Yet, yet. Just fake. Does that get them? Yeah. Good. It gets them good. It's really funny. Um, so we've been doing fake Russian. We just like, if you've ever played Stalker, if you've ever played Tarkov, you've heard the voice lines. Yeah. I'm just like regurgitating the general sound of it. I don't know. I don't know any language other than English. Bomb asked me for money. Net the bus at the basket! Nes a noble bad dog! Net the bus at the net! Net the net! Net net net! I'll just go crazy. Yeah. And they're so shocked that they're just like, oh. So it takes them aback. What's the best way to approach a self defense situation where there's a crowd between myself and a cowardly fiend hell bent on ending me, and all I have on me is a rusty stem? Well, listen. The crowd, if they weren't there, they'd be safe. Let's put it that way. Now, if I'm defending myself, there's a crowd of people around me. I can't control their actions. If my only if my only means to defend myself is driving a, uh, a six thousand pound F one fifty, that's the only defense weapon I have. I have to use it, Jet. I can't wait for the crowd to disperse. And I think any any judge in this country would agree with me. Yeah, because all you have to do is believe that you're under serious bodily harm. Like, you th you think your yeah. life is at risk. Oh, bro. If you believe Speaking it. Speaking of life being at risk, Mega Gum, new edition. I just found it. <laughs> Nuclear fusion attained. It was working perfectly until the other night. We're hitting the lines. We're outside. We're all doing it. Because it kind of, now it's like a joke. Yeah. Like we're all, we have eight people outside and we're all doing it. And this, like, crackhead lady comes across the street and she's like, and she starts <laughs> spitting foul stuff to us. She pulls out her, she, it's a matriarchy. Some of these homeless groups, her tribe. Her tribe. <laughs> <laughs> Spears, feathers. But yeah, they came up to me and it escalated, it escalated. We finally dropped the Russian routine. We're on our porch. That's the thing. We're not like invading their space. It's right in front of our house, but that's like the bum capital. So yeah, they ended up putting Ben in a headlock. Yeah, they put him in a headlock and we had to decide like, okay, do we want to escalate this and turn this into like a knife fight with where HIV is being transmitted? <laughs> so we de-escalated it. We got inside and we had a tug of war at the door. This homeless lady with face tattoos, her and Ben were like pulling the door back and forth, trying to get it to close. It was, it was crazy. But yeah, the, the war with the bombs is ongoing. Um, I think we should dump them in the ocean. I have a tank with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. John brought fireworks. Uh, yeah, we, well, we can we can go artillery team on the roof and just. I think we can. <laughs> I think it's time to bring artillery to this battle. Homeless against the autism. Did you see the video of the guy dropping the weight on the guy's head at the gym? No. It's brilliant. Well, I'm hurt. Do you he do walks by. He pretends to trip in the most brazen way, like this. Oops! Like that. And he drops a. I think it was a 45 pound plate oh my God. on a guy's head and like busts his head open. And then after he does it, he goes like this. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Are you okay? I'll get help. Help, come here, this guy. <laughs> like doing all that. And he got away with it. Really? I think it was in Australia or something, but he, he got away with it. And I was just thinking how like a little bit of planning and a little bit of acting skills. Yeah. And you could really do some you do damage. Anything. You could do a lot. Can't do anything. We can do a lot. Yeah. 
and get away with it. Yeah. Oh my God, that was an accident. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm glycogen depleted. I'm uh, I'm anemic. I didn't. I couldn't hold the trigger steady when I was aiming at your head. I'm anemic. But that's probably how it goes down in real life. And these people are scum, like Cyber Sponge here would absolutely sue me in this channel yeah. if if they could. That's this is the type of people, the type of people who make this garbage, and like all all <laughs> modern comics and all this all this crap, they're they're litigious as hell. Like if if this person had a disposable twenty thousand that they could throw th throw into a lawsuit to jam somebody up, they would. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I personally, there are very few people. I mean, I'm trying to think. Would I if I would I would I if I had some sort of reasonable grounds? Would I even suit? Would I even launch a lawsuit against like Hassan Piker? Yeah. As a joke or that would whatever. That would actually be pretty funny. It might be funny, but that's like. That's like a nu that's nuclear. That's one of the lowest things you can do to somebody. You really have to, you really have to be sure about your target. So um, for not fighting you. Yeah, that would be really funny though. <laughs> you, but you really, you really, if you're gonna, if you're suing somebody, you really have to make sure that like you're in the right. And it's it's these it's these artists. The fact that they're doing art, they're making art, they're ca doing cartoons and coloring in the lines. They're doing that because they have nothing else to do. It's not because they're like. It's not because of any other reason. It's because they're like, have no lives. If this guy wasn't living out of a Subaru Impreza and had two nickels to rub together, he'd spend it suing me for talking about his precious art on screen. Using the likeness, you use, and they, I love when they, I, oh, I love it. People who, who know nothing and have no money and have never opened up a book get into what they think legalese should sound like. Yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Um, Where someone, no. will e someone will email you and they'll, they'll use like, what they think are legal terms where it's like, please refrain from using my image again or you'll be, I'll be forced to levy you with a cease and desist quota. Like someone, will, I've, I've gotten emails like that. I've got, I've had people send me texts like that. Like it's just from people that have $200 in the bank account and they, they want me to like take down a sound effect or something. It's so awesome. Well, screwed over 30K coding, a crypto project. They got rugged by the owners. Uh, I know where they live, but I don't know. They don't know me since I was anonymous. Any creative trolling ideas I should do, or just let it go and move on with my life. You gotta just move on. I've been robbed, cheated, and swindled so many times. But the only thing you can do is just move on and make more money. You ha you can't. There's nothing you can do. That sucks, though. Don't worry. I'm getting. I get about once every three weeks uh, to a ten thousand dollar or more degree. So don't worry about it.